right, back to the shot. Let's take a look at the whole thing. Let me bring up the sound and play. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. All right. So you're also saying that you worked in the lip shapes and That's a lovely accent you have. overall body motion. Let me turn this on off. I think looking, there are a couple of things here. I think it's simply getting better. As always, your improvements are always good. What I feel, there's some moments like through here where it still feels pretty stiff in terms of you got this massive shape rotating over here, but I'm looking at this part of the neck feels like it's, it's not affected at all by that head move, which in turn also is not affecting the chest at all it just seems still pretty stiff there are still moments where you have even there's a couple frames earlier it still feels like this and then the head and the chest it all kind of starts to move at the same time so it's a bit of a post to pose feel what shot you get a bit of a straight arm there silhouette wise you want it to be either down or up to see the bend of the arm so probably in this case bring it down a bit Here you are moving head and body kind of at the same time. And then this arm doesn't, or the hands, doesn't really react to that movement at all, making this a very IK feeling arm. Again, there's a, a big head move. It doesn't quite feel like it's affecting these sections here enough. On this move back, it just feels very much one axis. The head just goes back at one axis. The head, the body just goes back one axis. Again, it's a bit too simple. Not that he has to do a side to side shift, but it just gives also that feeling of this being very locked. Where you know, if you add complexities, where <clears throat> instead of just one axis, there might have be there might be a slight twist to it, where there might be a slight lean on one side of the arm. <coughs> Excuse me where he's kind of resting maybe on one of the butt cheeks, <clears throat> which would mean that this line will maybe move over here because he's shifting the weight a little bit as he goes back. That kind of, that type of stuff is a bit missing. Now, once you get to here, I think it's a lot better. It's that breakup because we are moving in Y a bit more, even though you could probably shift the body a bit over this way as well. But that feels a lot better. I feel like the, the mechanics there, and even on how... When that head moves over here, it drags this, it drags that. I think it's much more it's much more believable in terms of how they all work together. So I would say from I know it's just the end, but from here on it's so much better. But then watch out as this hand goes back. This is a very straight move back. You can see there's no change in the fingers, there's no change in the wrist orientation. This feels very much IK. It just kind of goes back and down. You can see the, if you track his, the arc or the lack of arc of that hand, just goes, boop, just goes straight down like that versus, you know, a bit more of a appealing arc in there. That's a nice hand pose. You know, like, there's some parts that are good, but some parts are a bit clunky. So I would work on that. And then the general feel is that <clears throat> it's always this mouth shape and it's always this hand shape. Meaning, there's always that curvature where the, the head is never flat on the ground. There's no change in the hand pose. And the mouth always has kind of that, that stuck shape in there. And every now and then you go, you open and you close, but then we're still stuck in that shape. It's that same, that's, you know, that same shape through here. There's no asymmetry in the shapes. It all kind of feels the same. There's a little bit of a change maybe in the overall angle, but it's still... As a whole, it's just a very symmetrical face. Again, just symmetrical. And then here, you're kind of locked in that smile, open mouth shape. And then you were back into this very exaggerated flip forward shape. And it's almost the same beginning and the end. It's a bit more of a smile there, but that's kind of what I'm feeling here. And again, the hands here, just the, kind of the same there, the orientation of the fingers. See that? That just feels like it's, it's like there's a mouse, like he's on the computer. 
and underneath there's the mouse and he just always operates the mouse same with this arm and this hand so stuff like that gives it just an overall stiffness the even there's a little bit of a change in the eyebrow it's just the, the symmetrical aspect of the face always kind of stuck within the same overall mouth shape especially during during the pauses and then the arms but then also the the simple aspect of how that arm goes back giving this also a bit of a an ik feel it's twice here on this part so it's more something where once you get into here so from here on like this section this feels much more i mean in this end there's still the the stuck mouth shape and the symmetrical aspect of it that's needs a bit more work but body mechanics wise you just feel so much more alive and you, you can just feel how each move affects you know the surrounding body parts and i would definitely concentrate on that all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you